Everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Scorpio Simmer, and today I'm going to be doing another Mob Wives review. I thank you guys so much for just watching my videos and for you guys liking them because, yeah, it's kind of different for me to put myself out there like this. So, Mob Wives Season 6, Episode 4 Flip Floppers and Party Hoppers. So, right now we are in the part where they're in West New York, New Jersey. And I find I kind of found that weird. I was like, wait, did it say NJ or NY? Because if it did say NY, I probably didn't catch that. But, anyways, I uh, I think Big Ange is the realest one on the show. She is like seen as the peacemaker because she gets along with everybody. And nobody really starts any problems with her except for that one time last season when she got into a fight with Renee. And I was like, that was most like the shocking thing that I had ever seen on Mob Wives. It was like shocking. And I love Karen and Renee, but sometimes the drama is just a little off. It's a little too much. Like, do they be adding something in to make it that crazy or what? It's like just insane. So basically, Rita meets up with Big Ange to talk about how Brittany has been talking about her and something like that. Well, no, not yet. She doesn't really know yet, but she probably will soon. And then um, Big Ange tells Drita that she plans on throwing herself a 55th, 55th birthday party. And she does look 55. Yeah. Yeah, she kind of does. But happy birthday to her. And then we, uh, and then Renee's outside gardening. That's pretty nice to see. And then Karen walks up. She's so pretty. And then they are talking about Storm and how they got into this fight. And that he broke her phone. And then Renee's like, uh, do you have a phone? And she's like, no, no, I don't. And I think she doesn't need him, but we'll see. And they were they were at Ange's house where um, Ange is talking to Neil. And um, I'm guessing because they were on couples therapy with um, Joe Button and um, a bunch of other people. <clears throat> And if you see me clearing my throat, it's just because I'm having an issue with my throat. And um, I guess couples therapy didn't help because they reverted back to their own old selves. And then Big Ange was talking about, oh, back in the back in the day, the men used to pay the bills and go out and work and yada yada yada. Well, I personally think, in my opinion, don't don't the men and the women supposed to contribute to this um, to their household, not just. Uh, Man, because that don't make any sense in my book. And so now we're in Staten Island, New York. Karen and Brittany. So Karen had heard that Victoria Gotti was talking about um, her dad. And she doesn't really like that. And then she goes in with the, you can do with, I can get bigger than yours. Bigger than your, bigger than a man's, blah, blah, blah. And I don't really like talking like that. So yeah. And um, Brittany, I think that girl going to get in trouble with somebody. I think I know. I mean, I know probably Marissa because back in the first episode of season six, we see them get into um, an altercation. It's her, Marissa, Karen, and Drita. So I think that episode is coming up really, really soon. And I can't wait to see that episode because it's like a four-way fight. But except two people, two people are fighting each other. So that will be very exciting to see. Yes, I love the drama. And I had said in a previous video that I was going to do a review on the Bad Girls Club, but... I don't think I'm going to be watching that show anymore because I was on Instagram looking at them um, talk. It was just, I don't know. Can they go back to the way Bad Girls Club used to be? Like, season, I think it hasn't been that good since, like, season 11, season 12. Because season 13 was Redemption and then season 14 it was um, something else completely different. So, anyways, back to my boys. Drita, um, I actually didn't know there was literary, literary agents out there. They're like book agents that help you with your book. And um, I'll be right back. 
Well, um, as, as I was saying earlier before I had to go, um, Drita is talking to a literary agent, and I didn't really know there was book agents out there. I mean, because I'm planning on writing a book myself, but um, it's not as easy as everyone may think. Like, oh, I'm going to write a book, or oh, I'm going to a reality show, or do this or do that. It's just not as easy as it may seem. And um, Drita is talking about the scary situations that she has gone through. She talks about her uh, the oldest daughter, Aaliyah, who at the time was five years old. And then she has been talking about writing this book for like a very, very long time. So there's that. And then we go to Brooklyn, New York, where uh, Carla and Renee are with their childhood friends. And they start talking about um drita i just can't wait for the sit down to happen that aunt is about to have because i'm just so annoyed with these women acting so childish it's like why talk about people behind their back instead of do it to their face you know because that's what they really should do you know? yeah because it just don't make no any sense and then we're at Angie's um, birthday party, and um, things begin to be awkward. Brittany goes, instead of hanging out with them, she goes to go sit with um, Drita, which is weird because she says, Drita doing this, Drita doing that, and blah, blah, blah. It just don't make no sense. And Brittany, she gonna get herself in trouble for talking all that trash. I kind of can't wait for the reunion show to come around. I mean, I know the show. I don't know how many episodes they're gonna have for this season, but I know that the reunion show gonna be a hot mess because because Brittany just couldn't keep her mouth shut. And then um, uh, this guy was like, her father is a rat. And then Karen assumed that he was talking about. Her dad, I don't know whose dad he was talking about, but she got really, really angry. You know, Karen, when she's ready to pop off, she is going to pop off when it comes to her father. Like, she's like, don't talk about my dad. Just don't do it. And then Brittany was like, are you talking about my dad? And then she started to get all crazy, you know, whatever. And then Karen and Storm, and then the next day, Karen meets up with Storm, and then they try to figure out their issues and whatnot. And then, and Jim, Marissa, and Carla, Marissa talking about um, Brittany and how she does. She's a flip flopper, which I personally agree very much with her. She is because she was first Karen Gro K K G K G Karen Gravano brought her into the group, and then she's gonna be talking to Drita. Like, pick a side. I don't think you can have both sides in this group. And then they all meet up for the sit down, and Judah is about to come, and yeah. So I thank you guys for watching this video. I will see you all in the next video. I love you all, and bye.